Hi gang, it's Guru Bob, and welcome to day 12 of the 30 day challenge. The last couple of days you've been out creating web 2.0 sites, linking back to your blog, but today we're going to refocus back on your, your blog itself. I'm going to be showing you how to sort of analyze some traffic stats, hopefully by now you've been indexed and you're getting some traffic. And the Noble Samurai guys are going to walk you through a brand new module in Market Samurai called Published Content. And we're going to use that module to publish a second article onto your blog and then automatically submit it to Traffic Bug, all from within this new module. Awesome. I've been waiting for this for ages. But I'll let the Noble Samurai guy do that, guys do that. I'm going to sort of walk you through some ways of analyzing your traffic stats. So without further ado, let's hop straight into it. So first up, Google Analytics. Now I'm not going to spend too much time here because I did cover this in some detail um, in the pre-season and I'll refer you to those videos. But I do want to give you um, just a quick intro to what you need to be looking out for at this very early stage of uh, bringing your blog onto the internet. So hopefully you've set up uh, analytics for your blog now and you'll, if you log into your analytics you should see something like this with of course your domain. Click on view report and that will take you to the dashboard for that uh, domain. What I normally do is just make sure that I'm you know, looking at the right time period for, uh, for my investigation. So I'm not really interested in the month of August here. Most of you didn't get your blog up to a day, to, till day six, so you're probably wanting to actually uh, uh, focus in analytics from day six through to the current time. Now what I'm interested in at the moment is one, am I getting any traffic at all? And the dashboard should show you that. If you're getting any traffic, you'll see a line here that uh, that shows visits and if you just put your mouse over each day it'll tell you how many visits you had for that day. So that's the first thing I'm interested in. The second thing I'm interested in is where is that traffic coming from? And a nice way of, of uh, finding that out is to click on traffic sources and that will tell you um, here summarize whether it's direct traffic i.e. people typing in your your domain directly into uh, their browsers Referring sites, i.e. coming from another website or search engine. So you can see for Vintage Electric Guitar Blog for the month of August, um, we're getting quite a bit of traffic coming in from Google in the main. Also getting some referral traffic across from 30 Day Challenge, which are probably people clicking through from the training content pages and uh, a little bit of traffic from uh, the Digital Point Forum. It must be people over there mentioning the 30 Day Challenge. Now, um, at this very early stage, you may be starting to see some traffic coming in from the search engines, and you, you might also see some traffic coming in from some of your Web 2.0 pages if they have already been indexed as well. So this is where you go to get some general traffic stats. Now, uh, we can also use analytics to sort of find more detailed information about what keywords people are searching, but really I'm going to focus on, in on that a little bit later in the 30-day challenge. So that's pretty much all I wanted to mention about Google Analytics at this very early stage. And now let's uh, have a look at uh, the WordPress direct stats function. So I've logged into my WordPress direct control panel here. And uh, again, looking at the Vintage Electric Guitar blog. <coughs> the WordPress direct stats page is only a recent development. And uh, I'm really pleased that they were able to bring that uh, and make that available to 30 Day Challenges this year. For those of you that started blogs in the 2009 30 Day Challenge, so in the last few days, uh, this, uh, these features should automatically be available to you. For those of you that are using old blogs that you, um, that you installed uh, before the start of the 30 Day Challenge or even possibly last year, then you're, you're probably going to have to initiate something. I'm going to quickly show you how to do that. We've uh, uploaded an old blog here onto, into my account. Um, if you click on the View Website Stats here, where all the stats, WordPress Direct Stats information will be contained, if you, your blog is old and it needs to be manually installed, you'll see this red box appear here at the top of this stats page. And you need to click on that, uh, that uh, link there where it says click here, and that will install the WPD Stat plugin to your blog after which all of these features will become, a, will become available to you. And I'm going to show you what they look like on, on the Vintage Electric Guitar site where this uh, feature is already working. So you, you access the stats panel by clicking on View Website Stats. 
and that will take you to a page where there are a bunch of uh, graphs and uh, tables with some statistics information. So you can see here that um, the WPD stats are also showing me, showing me my daily stats, both in terms of page views and unique visitors um, to the Vintage Electric Guitar blog and monthly traffic as well. Uh, so two summaries and also an indication of what the most viewed pages are on the on the site. Uh, naturally, of course, most people are coming to visit the home page, but there are also people clicking on some of the post pages as well. But really usefully, uh, if you've set up Pretty Link, as we've suggested in earlier videos, the Pretty Link uh, click stats are now being served through into this control panel inside WordPress Direct. So you can get a sense of how many people are clicking on your uh, affiliate promotion links that you set up using the Pretty Link plugin. Um, and this information is being shown here. Now you can see we've got uh, you know, quite a high number of uh, clicks uh, relative to our traffic, um, which uh, I think is not necessarily an indication of the actual interest in that product for this particular site, because I suspect many 30 day challenges are clicking through on, on our Pretty Link links just to sort of check out um, you know how the link works and where, what the page is linking to. But, um, but those uh, click stats are now being served into, uh, into this page, which is fantastic. There will also be uh, some keyword ranking information. Uh, so WordPress Direct will try and assess where your site is ranking both broad and phrase match for your theme and category keywords that you've actually put up onto the blog. And over time, it will, uh, it will track those rankings for you and show you a ranking graph over time. A little similar to what uh, the Rank Tracker module does in Market Samurai, but a little bit more basic. But it's a very nice summary um, for your stats and ranking inside the WordPress Direct Control Panel itself, which I think is a, a great new feature and one that will be quite valuable for you going forward. All right, so that's pretty much where uh, I want you to be sort of looking to get stats information at this early stage. Don't be so concerned about the numbers uh, specifically as yet. We're hopefully by now you have been indexed and you are starting to get some traffic. And we are going to be looking um, at some ratios between these things uh, later in the challenge. And I'm going to go and show you a new feature in Market Samurai, which uh, shows you how to calculate some of those ratios. Now this is more an introduction to that feature at this stage the actual ratios and actual numbers are less important. We're not going to be asking you to make any decisions based on those ratios for another you know, five or six days or so. So this is more an introduction and, uh, and then you'll be able to use this later on uh, in, in the challenge itself. So hopefully if you've uh, upgraded your Market Samurai on day 12, a new feature will appear in the monetization module and that's on the bottom left here, you'll see a little tool that says Calculator. And if you click on that, it'll open up a new window here. Now I'm going to minimize Market Samurai so I can put focus onto the actual calculator itself. The purpose of this calculator is to make it easy for you to assess the ratios of actions that are taking place in relation to your traffic. At a certain point, um, in this point usually sort of is you know, two weeks or so, 10, 10 days to two weeks after you set up a blog uh, and you get it indexed, you start to receive some traffic. You've got enough volume of traffic to be able to actually make some mean meaningful calculations of your, of your um, metrics and, and your stats ratios. And this tool makes it very easy to do that. Um, so for instance, let's say at a certain point in time, you say you've received you know, 550 page views of your, of your site and let's say you had 175 clicks from your Pretty Lick um, stats and let's say you're lucky enough to have achieved a sale uh, from that traffic and the total revenue of that sale was uh, say $20. That was the net profit from the affiliate promotion. Now having, having got those broad numbers in here, the ratios between these are being automatically calculated by this calculator. And the ratios of themselves are meaningful and they, uh, in, over the longer term, will give you information about how successful your, both your traffic acquisition and your marketing is on your blog. So the first ratio here is the click-through rate, which is the ratio of the number of people that come to your blog as, as distinct from the number of people that click through and check out the affiliate promotion on your site. 
and we call this the, uh, the click-through rate. Now, you, you really want to have this click-through rate 25% um, or higher. I mean, obviously, the more people click th through relative to your total traffic, the more attractive your affiliate promotion is on your site and also possibly the more visible your affiliate promotion is and that, that should be reflected in the click-through rate. If you've got very, very low click-through rates, then you know, either the, the traffic can't see their affiliate promotion or they're not interested in it. Either way, it's something that needs to be uh, adjusted over the longer term. Now, the number of sales, uh, the offer conversion rate here is the number of sales relative to the number of people actually looking at the affiliate promotion. In this case here, we've got one, we would, as this example uh, reveals, we would have one sale in 175 views, and that would be a, a sale conversion of 0.6%. Now, over the longer term, we're really looking to have a website that's converting at the rate of at least 0.5% or better. 0.5% is one sale in 200 views. If your offer conversion rate is less than that, then, um, then the profitability of this website may not justify you know, a long-term effort for you to actually build it out and do all of the uh, off-page link building work that needs to be done to preserve and maintain rankings and, and get traffic and so forth. So these are the, the, these are the basic ratios. The website conversion rate, of course, is the, the number of sales relative to the total number of views on that site. But of course, we, we, we can't expect a sale if somebody hasn't looked at the affiliate promotion. But the overall efficiency of the website as a vehicle for channeling traffic through to the affiliate promotion and get sales is reflected in this, in this ratio. The other two numbers are more just informational and it gives you a, a sense of the value per click and the value per visitor on the site relative to the revenue you're receiving for the sales that are taking place. So this little stats calculator um, will, be, will be useful to you towards um, the latter part of the challenge when you're starting to make a decision, commercial value of your website and your efficiency in converting traffic to, uh, to both clicks on the affiliate promotion and ultimately to sales. So I'm introducing it here on day 12 so you get a sense of it. Uh, we'll be making further reference to it probably again on day 17 and also again uh, more definitively on, on day 24. All right, well, that's uh, pretty much an overview of, um, of where you go to get stats and what to do with some of those uh, traffic and conversion statistics that you're going to be finding. Hopefully by now, as I say, you've, your site's been indexed and you are getting some traffic, which would be great, and some of that traffic is going and checking out your affiliate promotions. And uh, for those of you that aren't in that happy circumstance, then that's great. Um, keep doing what you're doing, and hopefully you'll get better rankings and ultimately more traffic. For those of you that haven't been indexed yet, uh, on day 12, in the next videos, we're showing you how to add content to your blog using Market Samurai. And, uh, and of course, you're going to submit that to Traffic Bag. And at some point, the Google spiders, the search engine spiders, will find your site and index you and you can get, you can get going. Now, we also want you from this point forward uh, to publish an, an article on your blog, either for your theme keyword or for your category keywords, every two to three days or so. And, uh, and you can either do that using this new module in Mark Samurai, or as we've previously shown you through, directly through WordPress Direct. All right, well, good luck. I know you're going to love this new module in Market Samurai. I look forward to speaking to you again later in the challenge.